guys, Hutto here with Injected Motorsports. We're installing this uh, airlift setup, 5000 Pro Series uh, with the uh, Wireless Air 1 uh, with the easy mount system on this 2018 Ford Power Stroke F250. Uh, just gonna walk you through some stuff on here and hope you enjoy, thank you. All right guys, here we're on the bench. Uh, this truck, we're doing it on a 17. F-250 with, uh, without the rear sway bars. Uh, and so this is how we set them up. This style, you do not, it does not matter which side the bracket goes on. You'll use the long uh, hex head uh, uh, carriage bolts here. And you'll use it from the furthest from the flange. You'll use those holes since it does not. And they, this, like I said, it does not matter on this one. Or these parts universal. If it does have sway bars, you obviously have to change it up uh, in the holes anyways. Uh, your valve is actually on the opposite side, so make sure this flange here is opposite than your valve. Um, like I said, you put that on, you put your cup here, you can see the cup. You'll use your, you can see, you know, when you move it, you can see your your Allen head bolts. Go through and use another, use your small carriage bolt here. And it's got the small washer and small uh, lock nut. So pretty much we're gonna keep going. Uh, and I'll show y'all a couple more things. I just wanna make a quick stop here and kinda show you the setup before. Uh, if you wanna, we can actually flip it over Pretty self-explanatory here. Plate goes up. Lock, lock nut, washer. Screw it in. It has the notch here. You want to face them. Left. If you want to make them left and right, you can. Uh, you face them in. Obviously, have the same side, so you know where the plate is. That's the plate. Yeah, just bolt the plates on. Leave them fairly loose. Obviously, you leave their, their valve loose too. And uh, we'll keep going. All right, here we're starting on the passenger side. This 18 Power Stroke F250. Uh, so take the two 15 millimeter nuts off there. Bracket comes off. Then you'll pry those two out. I use a little, little pop rivet tool or whatever you call them. Stick it in here. right out take those out and I'll show you how to how to mount it afterwards All right, here's kind of a finished product underneath or semi finished just got to tie up all the wires zip tie up everything and finish uh, on this one it was easiest to actually do self tapping screws into the frame uh, you can use this big U-bolt, but this frame was a little bit too big for it. You can also drill holes with a bolt style. It's, there's different, there's three different ways you can do it, but we just did that on the frame there. Uh, you'll connect, you'll cut that little, little crimp end off, and then you'll splice it into this one here, red on red with that white wire. Uh, the ground will be back here. You can just, right here, you'll ground it somewhere right here to the steel frame. Now we thought about putting it actually right here, but, or that clamp, but I feel it's too close to the tire. They'll throw something at it. Anyways, like I said, on the two post, we left everything loose until we get it like on the ground. So you can see there, I can zoom in here for you. You can see the gap right there as soon as we let the truck down with some some weight on the wheels then so we'll snug everything right up tighten everything up the clamps go underneath here so you can we put it in the top hole there's underneath tighten those up and that's what your bag will look like we ran a line here deep inning we actually did put a a line back there on over the Spare. 
back. So we gotta finish zip tying everything up. But you can see the, the teeth, the Schrader valve T fitting there. One goes in the bag, one or it connects the bags, and the other one is the manual air if you ever need it, if the pump goes down or something. Ran it up here, ran it up underneath, and the wires are holding frame. Down here, make sure it's not too much of a kink, and then obviously you'll run it. You run your, your wire loom, and then we'll run it up top, and I will show you that. We put the little dryer out here out of the way. It sits up real nice right there out of the, out of the way. Pretty much the install on the bottom, not too bad. And we'll show you up top. All right, here we are under the hood. Um, ran it through down there, zip tied everything up. We kept the excess wires, because the pink one you can obviously put to a fuse for ignition if you want it with a key on. Um, otherwise, it'll come on with the app or the controller. Uh, but I mean, it's not that big a deal. Uh, put the fuse in, actually, if you want to pair Here's the device. Um, when you initially set it up, all you have to do is hit that button. I don't know if it'll show it or not. Yeah, there you go. Right now it's at 20, but it'll show the pairing of it. Once it goes through, you'll pair it, hit that again, and it'll say connected. Sometimes you have to pull the fuse and then put it back in. The connection's good. And then obviously you'll hear it. If you wanna, right now it's at 20 pounds. If you wanna go down to 17 pounds. Or 15, that's actually 15 now. Pretty much like that. And then here's the user guide. We'll also, just in case you So there's two presets you can do it's on the app, but I'll let the customer set up his own app on there and do his own thing. Um, you can actually set up presets, uh, inflate and deflate buttons. You can do a whole lot of stuff with this one. So minimum five pounds, unless you have a Dayla, uh, Daystar cradle and you can run it under five. Pretty much that's what you have the when you mobile app and all that good stuff which it'll pair it and it's pretty neat actually um, this new wireless one setup is pretty sweet once this thing clears off i'll show you so you'll have your battery life at the top right your connectivity at the left if you have it connected on the iOS device or something will be in the bottom left. It'll have a little arrow. Let me see if it'll show in the book. Yeah. So it'll tell you your preset one, preset two, up and down arrows. Uh, yeah, so it'll tell you if you're going up or down with it. Indicate your preset, your Bluetooth indicator, battery, and all that fun stuff. The maximum PSI is 100. Minimum base requires five. Again, like I was saying, um, that's about it. You'll come under here. You cut the wire, splice it in, like we did underneath. Put your crimps on the ground. Power. You run it down. That was about it. Come down here. See, like that, we still have to tie up some wires, but. Grounded it to the frame. Everything's tightened up. Everything looks good. Bags are all installed. Plate shield. And we're all set. We'll 
air it up a little bit more just to give an idea on sound. Here's the 18 PSI. And again, we, if we had a load, I could show, you could show it better, but that's about what we're looking at. Hope you liked the install. Uh, if you had any questions, just comment below. Thanks.